Welcome back. Vice President Kamala Harris with a four point edge in Wisconsin in Marquette's new Wisconsin poll. 52 to 48 among both registered and likely voters and the poll already headed back into the field this week. Charles Franklin is the Marquette Law School poll director. He joins us now. Charles, it's always great to see you. Thanks for having me. Let's start with this head to head. We just heard a four point differentiation between Harris and Trump. Uh, should note that this was taken after the DNC and before Tuesday night's debate. Is this uh, Harris expanding her lead in Wisconsin or is this something else? Well, this is a smidgen of an increase. A month ago, we had it at a one or two point race. Now we have it at a basically a four point race. So a little bit of improvement. The margin of error is 4.6. So that's two point change is certainly within the margin of error. Charles, as you know, independents are going to be key in all of this in determining who wins Wisconsin. Harris leads among independent voters. 12 percent, though, about say say they are still undecided and haven't made up their minds. How crucial is this number and when will they decide? It's an important number. Both the undecided and the independents are, are critical. We've seen independents swing in the winter. They were supporting Biden more than Trump. Then in the late spring and early summer, before that first debate with Biden, uh, they had swung a little bit towards Trump. A month ago, they were roughly evenly divided, and this month they're leaning towards Harris. I would take all of those independent numbers with a grain of salt because they're a small group and they're a changeable group. Finally, in both 16, in 2016, we saw the people that made up their minds in the last week broke heavily for Trump. And in 2020, those late deciders broke heavily for Biden. So unfortunately, I don't think we'll have a good grip on how those folks are going to ultimately bounce until very late in the campaign. And Charles, again, as we look at this in Wisconsin, economy it is by far the number one issue and concern among voters. On that issue, you see Trump doing better on the economy and immigration. How does that square then with the overall head to head numbers we're seeing? Yeah, uh, tr the economy is the number one issue and has been all along. Harris has closed the gap with Trump a little bit on the economy compared to Biden again. But it's clearly still Harris's weak suit and Trump's strong suit. Immigration has been a strong Trump advantage, too. But the importance of immigration has been going down over the last five months so that it's now fallen to third place in people's policy priorities. Abortion is now the second highest issue. Charles, the University of Virginia Center for Politics wrote an article this past week. It was headlined polling errors in 2016 and 2020. Look out for Wisconsin. In the article, they write Wisconsin stands out as having unrealistically optimistic polling for Democrats in both the 2016 and 2020 presidential elections. Just your thoughts on that. Yeah, that's a, a correct statement on average. And I'd stress the on average. But it's true that in both 16 and in 20, many polls in swing states and in 2020 more broadly understated Trump's vote. Um, and so people looking at polls, including mine, should keep that in mind, that these results may be a little overly optimistic for Democrats, a little too pessimistic for Trump. All pollsters have done a lot to try to change how we approach the interviews in the sample and so we've tried to rectify that my margin of er my error got smaller in 2020 than in 2016 but we still missed it by four points we were too low on trump by that amount so those are things to keep in mind and to be wary i think the bottom line is hopefully the polls give us some guidance but to think they are exact perfect predictions surely nobody believes that no rest for the weary. The new poll in the field on Wednesday. Marquette Law School poll director Charles Franklin. Charles, like always, thank you. Thank you. Up next, Trump's former fixer on a tour of his own. Michael Cohen set to hit some key battlegrounds, including Wisconsin, and he's here with us next.